okay this video demonstrates uh, about phantom js uh, integration to selenium for headless browser testing okay so uh, what are the prerequisites downloads as usual you need to download jdk 1.7 and above version and eclipse standard and selenium jars latest and lib jars then we need to download phantom js uh, zip file uh, it, inside it has a phantom js dot exe file that needs to be downloaded okay then uh, go to the ghost driver jars uh, binding is not needs to be downloaded from the net and jfree chart dot jar is available uh, you can download that for your chart comparison like uh, what are the time comparison we are going to demonstrate we require this jfree chart dot j jar file okay so uh, what we will be achieved uh, we will build a JUnit framework uh, and we'll build a automated test suits okay automated tests to execute the test and uh, using a ghost driver we will execute the test on uh, as a headless browser testing okay then we will compare the time comparison using charts so we'll report it using JUnit reports and chart will be displayed okay so that we will do it so many people asking the question asking me a question like what is a phantom GS and ghost driver so uh, nothing complicated it's very simple phantom JS is certainly a web kit built on JavaScript it's a JavaScript API JavaScript engine you can say okay so when phantom JS is compared to other browsers like uh, IE Explorer or uh, Firefox Chrome etc so each browser has its own uh, uh, JavaScript engine that runs at the background okay so whatever the UI is available that we that end user will be interacting with that so phantom GS is such JavaScript engine which is built but does not have a UI okay just like a Firefox and IE Explorer it does not contain UI so we will be directly interacting with the JavaScript engine okay which carries the protocol okay so that's why when we execute a test selenium test it works as a headless browser mode it does not display anything in the ui it executes only in the console and command prompt okay so that is phantom js now what is a ghost driver okay so ghost driver is something but when you when you see a web driver okay web driver has different drivers it has a driver for firefox it has a driver for uh, Internet Explorer and Chrome okay so ghost driver is similar built for phantom GS interaction of web driver from uh, uh, phantom GS through ghost driver okay it's a pure JavaScript implementation of wire protocol okay and phantom GS run as a, runs as a background okay so when you see this architecture overview you can easily understand what is uh, ghost driver or phantom GS and web driver okay in the from the left hand side we if you can start you can see a uh, web driver script is built in and you have a pointings libraries like uh, Java for Ruby or Python so you, on on top of that you'll be building the scripts now driver dot get command when it is executes it carries through the HTTP uh, wired protocol uh, which consists of JSON uh, uh, implementation and it goes to the ghost driver okay then ghost driver carries interprets and carries that to the phantom js javascript engine javascript engine executes on the internet and bring back the rendering pages okay so and all the information can be fetched from phantom js to ghost driver through wire protocol and your web driver bindings and your web driver script okay similarly uh, through uh, just like firefox and ie all those things so this is a simple setup uh, very simple to understand and no much complications uh, which is already built in uh, you just need to use that so ghost driver is already built in with phantom js driver just you need to add those jars and start using it okay so this is the simple architecture okay so now let's get into the script and understand how we can uh, normally use the ghost driver so here you can see it's a small framework which I designed uh, which consists of three drivers Firefox IE and ghost driver okay and we have a small story uh, test case uh, which executes on Google 
such term such as the such as the term selenium testing and other it's a link that is displayed this is a small test case okay so when when you go into the goes driver okay here you can see uh, before going to the goes driver let's understand uh, how we can configure this project okay L so create a small uh, javascript project uh, okay then right click that go to your build path okay so uh, in, here in the libraries as usual add your all your uh, selenium jars okay and here you can see there are two jar files regarding the uh, goes driver okay so these things you need to add okay to your class path okay so once this is done set just go and double check your ant home okay so these are the latest latest hand files needs to be added to your class path and class path okay then initialize add your tool start jar from jdk to your global entries so this is initial setup now another important setup is go to your sql and when you download the phantom gs from the phantom gs website you'll get an exe file so place the exe file only in the c drive okay so we can invoke that from the c drive okay so next go to your ghost driver script okay so so import your ghost driver bindings like this okay generate web driver object desired capabilities and here you can see you need to initialize the path of the phantom exe file like this okay and create an initialize the driver with a phantom js driver so ghost driver is built in with a phantom js driver okay it's automatically takes care of don't need to worry about that so here you can see uh, i have given the start time and end time for the test run on so i am calculating i am giving this as by the intention to calculate only the execution time taken by the test not for the invocation of the driver okay so there will be a time displayed in the junit report which takes care of execution of including this driver also so i don't want that i just want to calculate the test taken by the driver to execute only the test okay similarly i'll be doing for another drivers also so initially let's execute this and do an analysis okay so it executes only at the console level there is no ui is there so there is no ui will be displayed so uh, it navigates its search and it has given a result and assert okay it has taken 11.797 seconds to execute this okay now let's execute all the drivers and compare with the chart okay so for that i have kept properties file for each of the driver to calculate the time okay so later i'll be fetching this to the uh, generate chart library which generates uh, 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 some bar charts just to come to a comparison so this is an open source uh, this code is also open source if you see and search in the google you will get lot of open source bar charts in the uh, site so any any chart you can download it from the site jfreechart.org and you can straight away using it okay you can pass the parameters from the properties file or from the variables and you can use it okay so let's build this project again using the and files okay just refresh the project okay just remove these unrelevant numbers and save it okay 
just right click and run this build task okay so here you have selected the build all these three drivers okay so uh, generate chart items generate report okay okay so my intention is to execute the same test search book online with using these three drivers okay so driver invocation will be done in the file only I am calling the test relevant by this now let's analyze the execution and the time taken So initially Firefox will run it searches the term selenium testing and asserts it okay so the second one is Internet Explorer will run okay it searches the term and assert it now finally ghost driver will run Okay. Okay. So here you can see the ghost driver has taken twenty six point one seven five seconds. Okay. So Internet Explorer has taken twelve seconds, and Firefox driver has taken thirty one seconds. Okay. So next, let's execute again do an analysis So finally ghost driver will be executing it. Okay. So this time it has taken 14 seconds ghost driver and IE driver has taken 11 seconds and Firefox driver has taken 22 seconds. So this is for executing only the particular test which and it excludes the invocation of the driver now let's go and check inside the JUnit report okay so click on this JUnit report so here you can see the comparison okay so Firefox has taken 22 without the without the driver invocation here it has taken 29 seconds and IE has taken 11 seconds for test execution and uh, driver invocation it including it includes it has taken 14 seconds ghost driver has taken 14 seconds to execute and with the uh, driver invocation it has taken 16 seconds so this can be negligible with one test case level but when it compares to the hundreds and thousands of test case execution so it will be more actually so 
this needs to be excluded the diver invocation needs to be excluded okay okay so so let's let's do a conclusion like uh, let's do an analysis like okay coast driver can be used for smoke or sanity checks okay so quickly if you want to go for a smoke or run smoke test or sanity checks and identify the features of the application uh, quickly you can uh, use a ghost driver but the speed is compared to other drivers it's it's not that much great actually so of course uh, it is less compared to firefox so quickly you can use smoke or sanity checks using the uh, ghost driver and browser compatibility is a big question actually uh, you cannot implement go only the ghost driver for end-to-end uh, -end regression suite okay so it needs to be different browsers you need to use IE driver Firefox driver Chrome driver you can also use ghost driver also okay but all these browsers needs to be uh, used compulsively for the uh, execution so if you don't want to disturb the automation execution process okay you can use ghost driver okay in one of the systems you can set up and you can start running it background it will be running it and front end you can uh, do your job so that's what like can be used as one of the driver in the regression suite but not the only driver okay you need to use all the browser so to, in order to achieve the browser compatibility object lo locator yeah that needs to be customized like if you want to use the object locator in all the different browsers then definitely it needs to be customized or it, it needs to be have a different different object locators for different drivers okay so finally the conclusion is create object once whether it's an IE or Firefox or course driver you need to create the object only one and pass the object reference to different test don't create the driver object every time before you're running the test so that will include yeah, that will uh, include the some extra time okay so that is the conclusion thank you